is an Eyewitness News webcast. Hi, I'm Chris Langlois. Thanks for joining us. This is your Eyewitness News webcast for this Friday, August 24th. First, your forecast with meteorologist Stefan ODPH. Show a great Friday and a great weekend in store. Yeah, everything's looking pretty good ahead of us. Now, we did have a little bit of a cool start this morning. There were even some spots in the higher elevations that woke up in the 40s, but now things are improving. We're going to end up back in the 80s today. This will put us back above average just by a few degrees, but it's better than nothing, right? So we're going to end up in the lower, even the mid 80s in a few spots in the Susquehanna Valley this afternoon. 82 for the high today in the eyewitness weather forecast. We are mostly sunny. It's warm, not very humid and not as breezy as what we saw through yesterday. Now tonight, a little on the cool side again, 58 for the overnight low, 82 tomorrow, plenty of sun to go around. So essentially just a repeat day tomorrow. Clouds and sunshine on Sunday at 84, a late rain shower Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, upper 80s to near 90 with an isolated shower or storm. Chris, thanks Stefano. There's been a possible sighting of Sean Christie in Schuylkill County overnight. U.S. Marshals, the FBI and state police were out all night searching for this McAdoo man who threatened President Trump. Some officials were even still on scene as of 730 this morning. A resident in Rush Township called 911 after seeing a man who appeared to be Christie attempting to break into his building on his property around 11 last night. Residents also reported hearing gunshots after the man fled the home. Helicopters with heat seeking radar were out searching the area, but so far he has not been captured. Ben Titus Road was shut down for over eight hours, but has since reopened. New this morning, the coroner was called to the scene of a crash in Luzerne County overnight. A vehicle crashed into the drive through at PNC Bank along Wyoming Avenue in Kingston around 9 p.m. There's no word on the victim's identity. Kingston police are investigating this deadly wreck. Thanks for joining us and have a great Friday.